morning so uh, i've just been speaking to a few people recently and i just thought i'd make a little video about the real meaning behind disposable income so i actually researched the meaning that is put behind the word disposable income but i'm actually going to open your mind to actually what disposable income actually is properly so yeah disposable income is known as your income left what you have after paying your bills but think about the word disposable it means to throw something away so literally you need to sit and think about where your money goes so this is how i explained it to somebody who i'm helping at the moment who always spends all their money and has nothing left got no big dreams or anything like that etc etc where does most of your money go? Let's think about places that you spend your money that have no positive effects on your life. Places such as substance, places such as junk food, um, places such as going out to impress other people. So many, many people think, right, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna spend all this money, have fun with these people, buy these really expensive drinks, buy these really expensive clothes. Substance has never got an outcome which can actually make your life physically and mentally better it might be a short-term boost of fun but think about how putting alcohol and stuff in your body actually drains your health some like who've researched into alcohol know that it has got certain things in it which do drain your health and which do like play with your mind and look at what some people say as alcohol being as um, alcohol is the devil also known as the spirit what lowers your spirit do you know what I mean so yeah, um, cigarettes, I used to smoke, um, I used to spend a lot of money on cigarettes, probably about £9 a packet, so what I did was I lowered them bit by bit in order to get rid of it, but think about cigarettes, it's a temporary fix to something because we're craving that fag to feel better. If we learn about ourselves, we can feel better without having to pay for something that is a temporary fix, do you know what I mean? So yeah, cigarettes, that's another disposable income because you are literally throwing your money away but draining your life at the same time. So positive ways of to think of your income is you're not throwing your income away, you're using it in a positive way. So recently I've started investing in myself. My, my income is no longer disposable because I think of it as investing in myself, investing in my health, investing of the way I think, removing like stuff out of my body, what's making me feel in certain ways and lack energy, which means lacking motivation. Um, so things such as, this is a big one in our house, think about Wi-Fi connections. How many people spend quite a bit of money on Wi-Fi in their home? And they'll always go on about, but it's got the fast, fastest speed, I can use it to play my computer. Um, I've never had a Wi-Fi hookup. Um, how long? An actually house fitted Wi-Fi hookup probably in about 10 years um, because you have a mobile phone what has a hotspot which can control your devices uh, you don't need to have internet running in your house all the time this is a problem with young children and um, my teen she started getting upset because I don't like to have internet all the time and she wants to sit up late on the internet that's just not happening um, she doesn't need to be sick looking at pointless stuff all hours of the day talking to her friends who need to be catching up on sleep putting good stuff in the body in order to make themselves feel good about themselves. A lot of problems come from the internet. Uh, I suppose the internet is about how we use it effectively. So yeah, that that's another one, Wi-Fi. Um, stuff such as fizzy pop. So many people are like, but I need Coca-Cola. I actually spoke to a counsellor and I said to her, I went for breakfast this morning and it really did shock me the amount of people who was sat at a breakfast table drinking Pepsi Max and she went, I can't really say anything because I'm the same. I went, can I ask you a question? If you wake up in the morning and put chemicals in your body, how do you expect your visions to be clear? How do you expect your focus to be fully clear if you're constantly putting chemicals inside your body? She went, well, you're all right. And I went, and do you feel groggy all the day? And she went, well, actually, I'm having these problems. And I went, well, think about everything what you put in your body and how it has an effect on you. You're feeling like you need a quick fix of energy and you're putting loads of sugar in your body. Yeah, it's going to spark your energy, but in the long term, it's going to drain you at the same time. And it's bad for your health. And it, people say, well, it's not putting weight on me. Chemicals inside your body are bad for your health. Look at how some people that like, people put drugs in the body, it's bad for the body. People put pharmaceuticals in the body, it's still drugs. It's just a legal drug, so it's going to have a negative effect. 
People put junk food in the body, they feel crap. It's junk food. People put fizzy pop and stuff in there. These are carbonated soda drinks, which are made with loads and loads of chemicals. So what I did while I invested in myself was, and, I'm, and I added to my income, which is going to be beneficial to me in the future, I switched over to drinking bottled water only in our house. We're not allowed pop in our house. We don't have pop in our house. Sometimes I will allow juices, but sometimes juices, people think are very healthy, but the massive amount of fructose, which is sugar. Even though it's a natural sugar, it is still a sugar. So yeah, I switched on to using bottled water. I buy a lot of bottled water, so I just get a simple spring water, which is like 17 pence a bottle. I used to buy in mini bottles, but I don't do that anymore because that's more plastic waste. So thinking about environment there. So I use bottled water. So think about two litres of bottled water is 17 pence. And think about all those cans of pop that you drink and all those, cof uh, those coffees at Costa. Also, did you know that coffee is actually a stimulant of stress? And an NHS nurse told me this herself. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm stressed, I need a coffee. Next thing you know, they're feeling all over the place, running at 50 mile an hour, etc, etc. So yeah, bottled water. Um, water is known as cleansing the body as well. It's like a detox. So put more and more water in your body, it flushes out the junk. So 17 pence a bottle, flushing out all the junk in your body, saving money, clearer mind, clearer vision, more focus to motivate yourself to do better in life. There you go, such as water. Um, spoke about alcohol a number of times, how about um, you don't have to rely on something to give you that fix to create fun in your life. If you can't have fun without alcohol, that is a serious, serious problem. It's all right going out and going on the lash with your mates every now and again, but look at the end of the night, uh, I spoke to a young guy the other day, two nights out in the past few weeks, £200 on one night, £150 on another night, he's now sat feeling depressed with himself, because he's like, well actually, I haven't really got much money left and I've got rest of the months and now I'm going to have to struggle and I might borrow off someone and I might do this. That is all because you've gone out and you've spent all your finances on some alcohol. So take a look at going on a night out these days, how much is a drink in town, etc, etc. If you want to enjoy an alcoholic beverage, why not get a group of friends together and do it in your home? It's five to seven pound for a bottle of wine. If I ever drink, I drink red wine because it's a detox of the body, it gets the rubbish out. But that's other people's choices, what they personally want to drink. Um, so yeah, that's that's alcohol in there. That is a disposable, it's disposable income, throwing money away on alcohol, fizzy drinks, food. Food is a big one. I'm a lover of food, I like to eat out for food. But when it comes down to it and I look at how much money I spend on eating out on food, I'm sometimes like, right, that needs to stop. That is one of those things where I like to do that with nice people, socialising, that's a good beneficial thing to me because that's um, spending time with people you love is helping you grow. But look at how much we go out and we spend money on food, on junk food, what we get in a rush and then we're putting it all in our bodies and we feel, we feel rubbish and we get overweight. By investing in yourself and going out there and putting good food in your body, spending a little bit of time each day, preparing your own food and actually knowing what you eat, that makes a good, good like balance to your life and a clearer vision again, less chemicals, that sort of thing. So yeah, that that's a, that's another one there. So also the thing about me is um, such things as addictions with shopping. Shopping is a big, big problem. I've been practicing simplicity for quite a while now in a context of, uh, I think about it like this, do I really need to buy that? Um, do I want to buy that to fit in with other people? Do I want that because it's the latest craze? Do I need this big expensive watch? Um, loads of people have got this latest fashion, do I need that? My clothes, I buy most of my clothes in charity shops. People are like, oh you look really nice, where did you get that? Excuse what I'm wearing today, I'm just sat chilled at home. So yeah, my clothes, I buy most of my clothes in charity shops. I don't need to go out and buy a £50 jumper and um, just feel like I can fit in with everybody else. It's a disposable income to me. That's one of those things where, don't get me wrong, if you've got great finances and you want to buy that because you like that, that's up to you. But if you're struggling with your finances and you're going out spending stupid money on clothes, that's an income that's draining your life. Therefore, that is disposable because you're throwing your money away. 
So it's all right saying disposable income means being left with what you've got after you've paid your bills. But have you noticed these people make sure it's after you've paid your bills? That's making sure that it's okay to live. But what about it? making sure it's okay you've got a healthy life at the same time? So yeah, so fashion and stuff like that. So I used to be big on spending money on eyelashes. You know, it's £60 every two week on eyelashes. So instead, I've been buying castor oil and I've been growing my own lashes. £60 every two week on eyelashes. Imagine what you can do with £60. Also, I used to be that person who used to think, I'm going to go when I'm going to get that cheaper food, that, that, that and that. And recently, I've started to buy things in different ways and things from farm shops instead of mass-produced food, down to things like organic foods. I tasted a pasta sauce, so what we did, me and my children, was... We went and decided to get something with a strong flavour so we could see how it tastes different to other things. We bought an organically grown um, vegetable pasta sauce. The flavour was so much better. The feeling after was so much better. Didn't have all these chemicals and all that stuff in and aid agents to make things last longer and all this stuff. You get something, you eat it when it's fresh, you throw it away if you don't eat the rest of it. Or you freeze and then rewarm in a particular way what's healthy. I actually threw it on microwave in the bin because I was finding we were eating a lot of junk food and microwave rices and stuff like that when why not just make it fresh that sort of thing so that's gone in the bin that don't need to be there no more um, also a few things what I've done is I don't expect everybody to look at these things and look at it as if I'm like I need to do this I need to do that I'm just giving a little bit of insight so we don't pay a TV license that's a bill what is a waste of time to me um, we don't pay it not because we're avoiding it we don't pay it because the tv license people have signed us off because we don't watch tv if we want to watch anything we watch dvds which are about particular subjects which are healthy for my children's mind and my mind stuff to do with mindfulness not into no horror horror like a lot of people like oh yeah this is great this is great you're watching stuff about like bad stuff happening to people and killings and stuff do you expect your life to be sweet and your mind to be straight watching that sort of thing but yeah also um it teaches a lot of violence, horror does as well, and it puts a lot of nightmares in children as well as adults. So yeah, the TV license thing. We don't watch TV, we watch DVDs. A lot of hatred on people within themselves comes from TV and media, comes from looking at celebs, comes from looking at what they need to have, that sort of thing. TV programmes about soap operas, following other people's lives on soap operas. Why not invest in your own life instead of following other people's lives and get your own stuff together instead of watching dramas about other people? I don't know how many people who actually know about the thoughts become things process and law of attraction and that sort of thing. And I don't want to sound like I'm preaching all that sort of thing. I'm just planting a few seeds in order for people to be able to notice what they do with their time. So also there's another thing called ecotherapy. Therapies always help. I've already spoke about um, the use of tablets and that sort of things and people with medication in a previous video which is on if you like to take a look but ecotherapy known as going outside releasing stress which if you're a spiritual person about me who knows about energy is you're getting rid of negative energy you're cleansing yourself you're cleansing your mind your body and your spirit so going outside and de-stressing which is ecotherapy is free you don't need to pay for it. You don't need to go out and get drunk, which a lot of people do to feel better. You go outside, you walk, you think about your thoughts, you clear your mind and you start to structure a life. You've got to think about the things what are causing your problems in order to get over them and to create a better future. So yeah, this video's purpose was for to realise how you're using your own money as a disposable to throw your life away instead of investing it into yourself and your health to make things better for you. Wealth is like health is wealth. Wealth is becoming happier and healthier for yourself. Peace out.